Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Randall Herrera and uh, today we're vlogging with the Fuji X-T3 and the 16mm f1.4 Prime. So I don't normally do vlogs. I, sometimes I would like to do that kind of thing, but sometimes, you know, I just sometimes have a difficult time with coming up, forcing myself to come up with something to vlog about. Uh, my life just isn't that interesting to uh, uh, do vlogs on a regular basis. But today I do have something going on. Um, photography related so I figured why not take this opportunity to give this um, a test uh, this setup test um, so we are in 24 frames per second at 4k just doing the regular 8 bit 100 and, what is it 100 uh, megabits per second I think it is or 150 um, nothing crazy I wouldn't use 10 bit or anything like that for a vlog uh, so it's totally not necessary um, I do have an external microphone um, what else are we doing auto ISO and we are at f1.4 I've got a little handle on the X-T3. As you know, this lens does not have image stabilization and the camera does not have in-body image stabilization, uh, nor does it have a flip screen. Um, so this is not exactly the ideal vlogging setup. Uh, let's be realistic. I mean, in my opinion, it's not exactly the ideal vlogging setup, but maybe this is what you have and you don't want to buy a separate camera for logging, vlogging. Um, in that case, I don't think it's too bad. It does have face detect, um, and I think it does pretty well. I think I hope when I get back and look at this footage, I am in focus most of the time at least. Um, although there is no flip screen, it does have the little front tally light that is on at the moment, so I know it is recording. Um, I know I've done with other cameras where I'm recording and it's uh, what I think I'm recording, and it's just not, and there's no way to tell. So, fine, I can't see the flip screen. I can't see myself here, but at least I can see the light um, and that I am recording. Uh, so without the flip screen, it's, you know, it, you know, when you kind of do see this thing over here, you know, it's kind of hard to know if you're really pointing at it. It's just minor stuff like that, that it gets in the way, I guess, not having, you know, the fact of it not having a flip screen. But it's not a deal breaker. You know, um, sometimes, honestly, it's a distraction. When you do have a flip screen, you tend to want to look off to the side at the screen and you're kind of talking to yourself. And then you play back your video and you're, you know, you're rarely looking at the lens. And I know I have that issue with not looking at the lens. I mean, even talking to people, I have eye contact issues where I just prefer to look away and talk to them. But, you know, that's a separate st story for a different time. Anyways, so uh, this video is basically about um, this little space that I have here. It's nothing fancy at all. Um, as you can see, it's a small, very small space that I'll be using for my uh, portrait sessions. And um, so basically, normally when I do these sessions I when I do portrait sessions I rent space whether it's a photo studio or just some sort of space with some sort of interesting look on it in it uh, last time a la couple of weeks ago I did an art somebody's art workspace there was an artist a painter this woman it was a painter and I rented her space and it was a really nice space it had these beautiful windows all the way around natural lighting was great I bought I bought lights with me to that location I didn't even need them just because of the natural lighting well, maybe I could have used them but I decided not to but the problem is with that is like every time you I rent a studio or a space you know, I've got to get all my gear together. Uh, it's a whole list of things that I have to make sure I have, you know, little clamps, thing, you know, little things like without that can make your whole lighting ineffective or just unable to stand or whatever. Um, wires, cables, and, you know, I'm not just going there with my camera and a light and a stand. Um, I like to do these videos. So I have to bring extra cameras and extra batteries and cables to connect it to the to the Ninja Pro if I'm doing a live camera feed, not a live camera feed, you know what I'm saying, so you guys can see what I'm looking at through my camera, extra stands, extra lighting, there's just a lot to bring. And packing it all up, making sure that I have it, bring it to the studio, unloading it. If I'm lucky, there's parking right in front. If there's not, I gotta park a couple of blocks away and then I gotta haul everything over. If I'm lucky again, they've got a freight elevator. A lot of times they don't. You have to, you know, to walk up two or three floors. You gotta set everything up. And then you've got to try to get yourself in that in the in the uh, photographer mindset, you know, being creative and that kind of thing. And a lot of times, by the time the model gets and you've done all that, I've already been working for a couple of hours and, and you know getting all this done, and it's exhausting, quite honestly. Um, so I'm trying to cut down on that time, on that, um, on that. Um, and so I decided to get my own space. Now my budget is not that big, and so I found that this place it's cheap, and it's enough space. It is a nice window over here. Well, first we have this area here. Uh, so again, this is very small. You can see it's, it's a low ceiling, so that's going to be a little bit of a challenge, especially with somebody taller. 
as somebody taller who you know when you want to get a certain lighting 45 degree angle type lighting uh, that could be a challenge um, but again uh, you know if you if you rent these you know studios with high ceiling all that it's gonna cost you extra and I'm not quite there uh, with this uh, my budget doesn't allow for that uh, the other good thing well you do I do have this wall here kind of this little corner here which I guess could be also a nice little spot to take full body shots or sitting down maybe put up a little um, what do you call it uh, stand for a backdrop um, again behind that this area here behind that plastic that TV and that plastic is a small window so that might be opened up uh, all this is gonna have to get moved out of the way all this, the TV the couch all this stuff is gonna get moved out probably so that I can use that space better um, but we also <laughs> but we also have um, this little space here uh, let's see here by this light by this window um, I think it's gonna be great for natural light you know kind of by the window type pictures put a little chair there or a stool or something and uh, it's only thing is, is that there's see this hallway leads to the bathroom and you got this wall here which would have been nice if it ended like here so I can get shots like wide enough uh, this is a 16 millimeter so it is kind of you know probably showing more than what would show if I had like a 50 mil or something or 35 but it's workable I don't know I'm gonna try a couple of photo sessions here and if it works out for me I you know again I know it's nothing special I'm it's, it's a humble little hole in the wall um, but it fits my budget and it will allow me to just set up my equipment stands all this stuff here and uh, all these stands and lights and this is I've got more stuff that I normally bring uh, it'll allow me to set everything up and not have to break things down every single time I have a photo session um, and, and then you know set it up and break it down you know it's just um, I can set things up I can paint I can kind of do what I want with the space as small as it is at least I can work with it the way I want to work with it um, and it also frees up some space at home I've got a small New York City apartment and it's getting cramped in there. I keep getting more and more equipment, more and more lighting. And it's just like my stuff is taking over every closet and the, the apartment. And I really want to minimize my work area at home. Right now, it's just like my desk. I got the dual monitors. I got a big thing with lenses falling out of it. And it's just a complete mess. Um, and, and it's just like my organization. Plus, my organizational skills are poor, I, <laughs> I admit. But um, definitely... If I had this space here and I could just have things set up already, you know, diffusers, soft boxes, whatever, just already understand set up. When somebody comes, we just figure out what we're gonna do, how we're gonna shoot them, you know, and we're good to go. And, and I don't have to go through that process every single time. I can get in that creative mindset, you know, concentra concentrating on, 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 on what I'm doing with the shoot instead of, what time is it? Oh crap, I gotta break down. Oh, you know, I don't wanna upset the, you know, the owner of the property or the space. And so, yeah, and who knows? I mean, you know, I, I get, again, I know it's, it's, it's nothing. It's just a little space, but I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking if, if with enough imagination, um, with enough creativeness or creativity, I think we can do something interesting with this space. Um, you know, this space here, I'll probably end up paint, repainting it just plain white. I don't know, or maybe not, maybe something else. I, I, I really don't know what I'm gonna do. Again, I'm just gonna try it out for a couple of sessions, maybe two or three sessions, and then I'll determine if I wanna keep it for long term. Um, and it'll also be you know, available to me whenever I want it. Um, you know, when, when you're renting, you have to check on availability. If it's a really nice space, you gotta call in sometimes a month in advance. And sometimes I just, you know, it's a spur of the moment, oh, I just wanna do a session next week. And, and now you're having a hard time finding the right place under the right budget and whatever so like i said i'm going to try it out for a couple of sessions if i like it then i'll i'll keep it on a regular basis and then i can really start to for the next couple of sessions i'm going to use it as it is i mean i'm going to move things around so i'm not you know just so it looks nicer right um but but i'm just going to try it out and if i think it works then i keep forgetting <laughs> you know this thing gets heavy crap all right, uh, you know, the, the, the more tired my arm gets, the closer the camera gets. As you know, I'm using my own, my, my uh, elbow tucked into my rib for support here. But I have to remember that you guys don't want me, probably don't want me all in your face. Um, anyways, 
I'm gonna try it for a couple of sessions. I think I've got something set up for next week, Monday. Um, simple, you know? And uh, I'll see, I'll see what I do with it after that. You know, if, if it works out for me, I'll see what I do with it after that and see if it's something that I can really kind of do something with so that it works better. You know, like I'm thinking actually maybe this side will do white just because it's right by the window, white, like a really, yeah, just everything white. And then maybe this side here, since it's kind of in a darker corner, maybe we actually use some kind of dark setting. I don't know. Um, add some sort of texture to the wall to make it look a little grittier and dingier and kind of, it's just an idea for now. Anyways, that's it for this little vlog um, that I'm doing here. I'm sure I've rambled on for a lot longer than I, than I think I have. I, I always think these things are going to be five minutes long and they turn into 30 minute videos. Um, so anyways, that's it for this video. Um, like I said, it's a simple space, but I think uh, if I do decide to keep it and use it regularly for more than them, I've got it for this month. Um, I'm going to try, try to get at least two sessions this month with it, if not three um, or four. I mean, we'll see, you know, and try to get a feel for it. And if I think if it can work for me, then I think, like I said, we'll, we'll see what we can do to make the most out of the space. Uh, you know, out of the little bit 